Now, next, I want to go over export audio. So, um, it's pretty simple, actually. Before, we did a drag and drop of audio. Now, we're going to export it through the machine software. So, I've got a track here. And we're going to probably maybe just take a section of it or whatever. We're going to show you how we can export some parts of it or the whole thing. So, I'm going to go here to File. And we're going to select Export Audio. Now, we get this Export Audio dialog box right here. And uh, we've got a lot of different parameters that we can choose. Now, first we have Source. Now, Source is our region right here. And we can have a loop range, or we can say All Scenes. So I can get All Scenes. And once I select All Scenes, uh, we can get every scene in there, see? So I can get a range of all scenes. So what that means, let me just close this out. This means all the scenes selected here, okay? And if I want to do a loop, I would say I want to go from here, let's say, to uh, here. And that would be my loop. And I would go back here, you go to File, then we're going to go to Export Audio. And then I would just select here the loop range. And below that we have Output. Now, we have several options. We have the master out, which is just one out, so there's no options here. Um, but if we go to group, as you just saw, we're in group. We can select the various groups. We can say, well, I don't want the bass, or I don't want this one, or I don't want that one. I'm going to say we do want them. And we can select which groups we would like to export. Now next, below that, we have sounds. So all the sounds are listed here. And we can select which sounds we want or don't want, as you can see right there. And these are for those particular sounds chosen. Now, this is all based on the selected group. Let me close this out first. You can see here the group is selected, which is called the kick snare. If I select strike and I go back here and I use file and I select export audio again, you'll see the sounds are only the sounds that are in strike. I'll close this out again. I can select stab and melody. And I'll go to here, and we're going to go to file. We're going to export audio again. And only the sounds from that group appear. So be aware of that. So if you do select sounds, you must select the group you want to export the sounds from. So here, I've got group selected. And then we have destination. So we can select the destination folder where we're going to send this to. I can um, send it anywhere, of course. I may want to send it to my desktop if I want to. And I'll say, go to desktop. I choose that. Go back to my desktop. Now, below destination, we have options. The first option is normalize. What this does, it gets the peak volume of every audio file that we're going to export. So I always get that selected also. Loop optimization. If I have a loop range, I want to make sure I optimize the full range of this entire loop. And below that, we have bit depth. Now, in this case, I'm going to select 16-bit. But you can also select 8-bit. Remember, 8-bit is going to give you more of the lower end, but not much of your highs will be there. That's kind of good sometimes when I have an 808 mix of drums I want to use sometimes to give this old-school feel. Um, and I do that some, once in a while, too, to get some really cool uh, sample mixes. Also, we've got 24-bit. So here I can go to 16. I can say export. And once I do, what happens here is that the software starts to bounce the file out and it will place it on my desktop. 